Uh, right, OK, let's start, shall we, Dermot, at Old Trafford. And Ahmed Diallo uh, sent off for a second yellow card, taking his shirt off in celebration of his 121st minute winner uh, against Liverpool. He said he forgot he'd been booked. Um, does emotion really need to be taken into account here? It's 25 years since they decided this was going to happen, and so he should have got used to it by now. But uh, he's not even 25, is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's had it all his life, then, hasn't he? <laughs> but um, I, I don't really think you should be talking about it because I think that was one of the best games you'd seen. It was one of the best refereeing performances I've ever seen. He's hamstrung, isn't he, the referee? You know, it's the last minute of the game. He's gone through it absolutely perfectly for me. It was so blatant. Only did take his shirt off. He he prayed it to everybody. So it was a yellow card, and it's just unfortunate he had one. Dermot, the refs hate doing that. Absolutely. I remember Chris Foy at Sunderland. He, he had to send off uh, Iron Robin. He said he scored a wonder goal, leapt over the barrier and whatever. And he said he stood there shaking his head, thinking, I'm going to be the pantomime villain. Yeah. 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 Mm. Is, is the reason behind the booking because of shirt sponsorship, or what is the reason for booking taking the shirt off? I think it dates back to the famous Ryan Giggs goal, doesn't it, at Villa Park? Yeah. Um, he took his shirt off, and uh, in certain areas of the world, it's seen as offensive, that, that. And so it, FIFA just decided it was going to be outlawed. But it's not the referee's fault, it's just... No, no, not yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, no, it's not the ref's fault, but quite often you stand here and say, if you're going to give a second yellow leading to a red, it's got to be something kind of impressive, apart from if you take your shirt off. Yeah, but I, I talk about fouls, don't I, Rob? Because fouls are... You know, there's different degrees of fouls, we know that. But this is, it's just the law, isn't it? It's, it's not a law that referees, like Sue said, do the referees like it? I can tell them, no, they don't. Yeah. You know, he is, he's, he's the pantomime villain, isn't he? And that's why I say, I'd rather not talk about that, to be honest, because I do think it was such a pulsating game. It was such a fantastic referee performance that I'd rather look at John Brooks and say, well, for 120 minutes, you played your part in a spectacle. Yeah. For one minute, it was just unfortunate that it wasn't in your hands. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't think we're... Yeah, we're certainly not criticising the referee. No, not, not one bit. No. no. So, so, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not often you allow me to say, oh, well, a referee did, yeah. Rob, so no, I'm going to take it. I do. Much. We always, we always <laughs> um, give credit where credit's due, Dermot. You know that. You do, actually. Yes.